What's up guys, it's PME Volleyball and this is another day in the life. So today is gonna be a little different from my other day in the lifes because today I don't have any volleyball to play. In fact, I have been given the day off. I have no practice, no games, no nothing. Nothing volleyball related with the LVC team that I play for, nothing that I have to do today. It is also the weekend, which is pretty nice, which means I have a day all to myself. I don't even know what to do with it. That being said, I do have a list of things that I wanna get done today, as well as I. I do want to get into the gym and get some reps myself in because there are things that I think I need to work on and I'm going to take this time where I can kind of just be in the gym by myself and I'm going to work on those things. I got a great day planned. I cannot wait to take you guys along with me. It is around 10 a.m. in the morning. I slept in a little bit. The first thing we are going to do on the hit list is take a shower and then after that I'm going to go get some Chick-fil-A breakfast and man I cannot wait for that. Chick-fil-A has maybe the best fat fast food item for breakfast ever, might I add. And the next time you guys are going to a volleyball tournament or need something in the morning to eat, this is what I highly recommend you go and get. But we will go get that later. I'm gonna go hop in the shower, get ready for the day. Catch you guys in a minute. Breakfast at Chick-fil-A actually ends at 10.30, and if we look at the clock right now, it's actually 10.39. So your boy, PME, made a big brain move and did a mobile order about 15 minutes ago. So hopefully, um, when I get there, my food will just be sitting in a bag and I can pick it up and then um, take it back here. I think my plan is to go to the student center for breakfast. Um, I'm probably gonna take my computer with me and kind of take that time to eat breakfast and get some work done. That's the plan, let's hop in my car, let's go get my food. I mean, I'm, I'm really hoping my food is gonna be there, but there's a chance that I show up and they're like, nah, we stopped serving breakfast, you're too late. You should have gotten your lazy butt out of bed earlier. And then to that, I will respond, yeah, you're right. Yeah, let's stop stalling. Let's just go pick it up, vamos. We have officially made it to Chick-fil-A. Um, I'm about to walk in right now and they're either gonna have my food or not. I put a mobile order in and I've been letting it sit there for the past 35 minutes, which probably wasn't the greatest move on my part, but I was desperate for some breakfast here for that for that breakfast menu so i'm gonna walk in there try and collect my food you will either see if i am successful or not before i get a chance to talk to you guys about it so without further ado wish me luck here we go And I walk in there to go pick up my food and lo and behold, they have it. That is the breakfast hour hack brought to you by PME Volleyball right there. Order your food mobile before breakfast ends and then you can go pick it up and boom, it's like a late breakfast. Honestly, this little discovery of mine has me sitting here thinking, how far can I test this boundary? Like, could I order food in the morning and then go pick it up at like 7 p.m. at night and will it still be there? I don't know. So that's kind of something I kind of want to try that now um, just because. Anyways, we're gonna go head back to campus. Um, we have a big old student center with some tables and chairs in it. I'm gonna go bring my food there and eat breakfast. And I will show you guys in there what I actually got. What I will show you right now is the iced coffee we picked up. It's vanilla iced coffee. Um, usually I drink my coffee black, um, unless it's like a specialty coffee, but we did try the vanilla version of the iced coffee today. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Let's give it a try right now, actually. Okay, so right here we have our Chick-fil-A vanilla iced coffee. Um, I'm gonna give it a little try. Yeah, and that hits. That hits different. Um, that is just the perfect boost of caffeine I need for my rest day. Oh man, that is good. Wow, I love it. 9.5 out of 10. Part of the reason 
reason why I don't have any volleyball going on today in the first place is because there's a break for the whole school. So school's out, there haven't been classes in the past two days, and a lot of people went home. But this time around, I decided to stay. Usually I would go home too, but um, I really only have like a month left until school actually gets out. So I was like, you know what? We'll just stick around for this one. Let me show you guys what's going on for breakfast here. So I'm gonna put this down right here. Um, we got our Chick-fil-A bag right here. Some napkins. First up, we have a nice little side of, oh, dropped one, hash browns right there. Hash browns are absolutely delicious. Mm. I mean, they're, they're a little cold. That's my fault, because I let them sit there for 45 minutes, but still, tastes amazing. Mm. Just hits the spot perfectly. Absolutely love those. And now this is the best breakfast item in fast food. Let me show you guys what's up. We have a delicious big old box. of these chicken miniature sandwiches. Let me show you a close up of one of these things. Like a little chicken, it is a Chick-fil-A chicken nugget wrapped inside a beautiful little biscuit. These things are absolutely delicious. I got 10 of them, which might be a little excessive of me, but I was feeling pretty hungry this morning and man, these things just go try them for yourselves. They are absolutely incredible. Let's give one a try. Yeah, those things, perfect 10 out of 10. Um, I don't think I even really need to say too much more. Just delicious. The bun is just nice and soft and a little sweet. And then the chicken comes in with that savory little kick. And it's just a match made in heaven. Chick-fil-A, thank you for this amazing breakfast. I'm gonna get to eating it right now. Okay, so breakfast was absolutely devoured. Um, just absolutely obliterated by me. Now, while it was absolutely delicious and I enjoyed every second of eating it, I'm gonna need about an hour to let that digest before I do anything else. So I'll give you a little time update right now. It is around 11.30. Um, I'm gonna spend the next hour sitting in here getting some work done. Um, and then after that, we're gonna go head over back to my room, grab some stuff. I'm gonna get a little miniature yoga session done before I head over to the gym. and. And yeah, set up a net and we'll do some volleyball stuff. That's the plan. I'm gonna, I might get to it. Two hours later. Okay, so it's about 1.33 right now. I don't know how long exactly I was in there doing work, but it felt like forever. Well, I'll just say that. Breakfast is definitely settled in my stomach. It is time to go get a stretch in. We're gonna do that first. Uh, get some good, like this is a good way to take care of my body. And honestly, I don't do this enough. And the only reason that I am doing it today is because I'm filming a day in the life. So there's that piece of information. Social media isn't always what you sometimes think it is, but hopefully in the future, this will get me in there doing more of that like healthy stretching and taking care of my body when I'm not playing volleyball. Once I am done with that stretch, we are gonna head over to the gym. Hopefully there's no like organized event in there today. I don't think there is um, just because it's a holiday weekend. And after that, once we get into the gym, we're gonna set up a net and get some individual volleyball work in. It's not gonna be anything too crazy, but I do wanna work on some serving. That's gonna be a point of emphasis for today. Yeah, and then we'll see where my life takes me after that. I don't really know what the plan is gonna be after that, but we We'll make it up as we go. Let's get it. Okay. So people always ask me in my comment sections, how do you keep your hair up? Because in my games, when I play volleyball uh, in practice too, I, I wear my hair back like this. So it's out of my eyes because I'm trying to see the ball before I set the ball. And sometimes it's hard to set the ball when you got hair in your eyes, you know? So I got to keep it away from me uh, and I put it back. And what I used to do that is this little stuff called pre-wrap comes in these little rolls you can buy it off of Amazon and it's basically just like this styrofoamy thin band substance I guess that I um, use to keep my hair back so let me show you what we do here is you take some of your pre-wrap just about like that much I don't want it super tight where it's gonna like hold my hair super tightly back because I don't want my hairline to recede so I always like to give a little bit more than the, I guess, diameter of head shape. Um, if you have a big head, you're gonna need more. If you have a small head, you're gonna need less. Um, we do, and then you, you crumple up the sides just like that, and you're gonna tie them together. Boom, just like that, okay? Then make a little knot, tie that up, and you have this circular headband. We can just throw on like this, kind of push the hair back as we go, and boom. Out of mind, out of sight, out of worry. And it just sits there nicely like that. Um, keeps it out of my eyes. I don't have to worry about it anymore. So I'm gonna wear it when I go downstairs to stretch. And then obviously I'll be wearing it in the gym as we're playing volleyball. So let me throw on the PME tank. 
to complete the gym fit and then we'll be on our way. Boom, would you look at that? The gym fit is looking complete. I'm gonna grab my headphones, my volleyball bag, and an energy drink, and we're gonna go get this stretch in. Let's go. necessarily a stretch but uh, I think all volleyball players should do this uh, go out and get yourselves like a little cross ball just like this um, and then what you're gonna do with it is you're gonna put it on the ground and kind of just roll out the bottom of your foot on it I don't really know the whole science behind it but I know that doing this is very good for you and it'll keep you healthy um, so definitely recommend it's like eight dollars for a lacrosse ball before every game and practice um, I'm always doing this and it just helps me feel good when I'm out there um, I don't know what it is but it's literally the closest thing to a miracle worker when it comes to volleyball anyways so grab yourself a lacrosse ball make sure you're doing this every day you'll start to feel better trust me just from the way I feel right in this moment right now. Yeah, I, I, I needed to stretch today for sure. That feels really good. Another really good thing you can do to take care of yourself as a volleyball player is get one of these little elastic bands. Again, they're pretty cheap. Not a lot going on with these things, but they're really useful when you know how to use them right. What you're gonna do with this band is lay down on your back uh, and put the band around one foot just like this. So we're gonna lay back, create that resistance uh, with your foot, and then raise your foot up in the air and you're gonna feel the stretch all the way down your hamstring. Go as high as you can without hurting yourself, obviously, but man, uh, yeah, this is a great release for your hamstrings. Okay, this next stretch is my favorite stretch of all time. I don't really know the name of it, but basically what you do is you put one leg uh, down like this and you kind of make it a 90 degree angle with your leg. And then your other leg goes straight back. You put all your weight on this 90 degree angled leg right here and you'll just feel the stretch up and down your hips. Um, IT bands, IT bands, that's the name of the stretch. Yeah, this is my favorite volleyball stretch of all time. I don't know what it is about it, but sometimes our hips as volleyball players get super tight and this is just a great way to release all the tension um, in your hips. Okay, so we did all the lower body stretches. Now we're gonna move into some upper body stretches, a couple back, and then mainly shoulders because I'm gonna be serving today and I wanna make sure my shoulders are all ready to go before I put them through some heavy work uh, serving some volleyballs today. So let's get it. Take a stretchy band like this. I found this thing, it'll work. Um, basically anything that'll stretch like this and you're gonna go back and forth, back and forth and do this like 10 to 20 times. Um, just again, great way to warm up the shoulders. Once you're done with that, um, we're gonna do another version of this where you go one, two, one, two. Um, so it's one arm rotates and then the other one rotates and the band will kind of just alternate between being in front of you and behind you. Um, again, do this about 10 to 20 times for each shoulder. We'll go the other way just like that. 
Okay, so we're gonna end our little stretch session with a yoga move that I completely have no idea what the name of it is. If there's anybody watching this video that knows a lot about yoga, feel free to let me know in the comments uh, what yoga pose this is. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anybody out there for not knowing what yoga pose I'm about to do. But basically, we're gonna get like this. We're gonna lean back, put all of our weight back on our heels, stretch forward just like so and then i'm gonna put my head down and yeah wow you'll definitely feel that one um in your lower back and just feel your back decompressing yeah my back's been a little tight the past couple of days i'm not gonna lie doing that for a good 30 45 even a minute long um it's just great um and a way to release all the pent-up tension in your back okay so we finished our stretching we're gonna make our way over to the gym now hopefully there's nobody in it um like i said before on the weekends our college tends to rent out the space to like other vendors have like different events going on in there i checked earlier and i think the gym was open but we're gonna make our way over there and then hope for the best so let's get going uh, closed the gym is closed on the weekend because it's a holiday wow I, I was so excited to take my little camera over to the gym get some shots of me serving just some good vibes good aesthetics for this video and now i can't do that because our gym is closed for the weekend they don't want people in the gym on the weekend i guess um Wow, I feel so bad. I lied to you guys. I said I was gonna go get reps in after my little stretching session downstairs, um, but now we can't do that because the gym's not open. Uh, this is crazy. This might be the first PME volleyball video ever released where there is no volleyball being played or shown in the video. Crazy that that might be the case. Actually, wait one sec. Just kidding, just kidding. Look at that, boom, we got a volleyball here. That's me playing with it, boom. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm a little sad, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling in this moment. It's not the end of the world, um, we do need to realize that. So in the meantime, I guess we just chill around on the weekend. What, what, do, what do people do when they're not shooting day in life videos? Okay, plan, plan. This is the new plan, all right? We, we look at the clock here and it's around 2.30, okay? For this to be a successful day, which I'm not saying that hasn't been successful up until this point, but to make this a completely 100% successful day this is what needs to happen okay we need to get some sort of lunch and i want it to be semi-healthy because breakfast wasn't the healthiest so we need to go get lunch okay i'm just going to assume that the, since the gym's closed um they're not going to feed us either so i'm going to have to go get food off campus number two we're going to go watch the sunset yep we're going to take my little box car blue kia soul um and we're going to go watch the sunset atop a peaceful place and that might be the lamest thing and you might be clicking on this video right now but i'm telling you it's going to be epic i'm going to go watch the sunset and it'll be very romantical for me and you um yeah. Number three, we're going to head to a store, either Target or Walmart. You're going to pick up a volleyball, probably not going to be the best volleyball just because these things are like the gold standard, like Wilson, Balding, all that stuff. And they don't really sell the good volleyballs in the stores, um, but we're going to look, we're going to pick up a volleyball and we're going to pick up a Sharpie. I'm going to sign a volleyball. I'm going to put my big old PME volleyball signature right on that volleyball. And what we're going to do is give that volleyball away. So one lucky winner watching this video right Right now in order to answer this giveaway you're gonna have to subscribe to the channel obviously you got to comment down below one very good reason why i should send you the volleyball a week after this vlog drops i'm gonna go through those comments read them find my favorite comment and the best reason why i should send you the volleyball and i will pick that person to send a free volleyball to so that's the plan three things we're gonna get some sort of healthy food to eat for a lunch slash dinner we're gonna go watch the sunset from a peaceful place and we're gonna pick up a volleyball and give it away for this video um, because we weren't able to get reps in. I still feel robbed. Like part of me feels missing from that, um, but we will get over it very quickly. Those are the three things that we need to do today in order to recover emotionally from the damage that has been done. So let's get to it. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Okay. 
So currently the time is 4.39. Um, I took a shower. I didn't really do too much else. I was just really chilling in my room. We are well on our way to go complete our side quests for today. So the order that I have decided to tackle this list in is first off, we're gonna go get food. I'm on my way to my car right now to make my way over to a place I have in mind. And then second off, we are gonna go grab the volleyball for our little giveaway that we're gonna do here. And then last on the list is we're gonna go catch a sunset. I found a pretty cool spot that I think is going to pay off. It's about 45 minutes away. So yeah, and that's the that's the order of events we got going on right now. If I look at the clock, it's 4.50. Um, the sun sets at 727. I think we're gonna have a good window to get everything done. So let's uh, let's be on our way. You know, I think I already said this earlier in the video, but it's so funny that once I take my camera out, it's like, I wanna live um, a more interesting life. I feel like this was a normal Saturday for your, your boy PME. I'd probably be sitting in my room, eating some crap and watching Netflix or Hulu or something like that. But once the camera comes out, it's like, I'm gonna go catch a sunset. Like I've never done this in my life up until now that's the way i'm gonna choose to look at it thank you guys for making me a better person to be fair i did try and play volleyball today like i was gonna go get my reps like i was so excited and then the freaking gym was closed so we did have to deal with that not entirely my fault but yeah this is our new and improved plan and like honestly sometimes in life it just doesn't go your way. It's probably one of the biggest lessons I'm learning as a 19 year old college student is that not everything in life is going to go the way you want it. And sometimes you're just gonna have to make do. And I think this is gonna be a great way to make do. I'm super excited for my newfound adventure of exploring life, of living life. That is what we're doing. Living life to the fullest. Let's be on our way. There, there she is. That, that is dinner right there. A place called Kava. Kava is basically like a Greek slash Mediterranean Chipotle um, where you have like a bunch of options and you move down an assembly line and kind of make your food for yourself. Uh, it's really good and I highly recommend it. I love it. I've eaten there quite a couple of times uh, these past two semesters while being in PA. I'm gonna go in there, grab my food, uh, come back and we will eat it in the car. See you guys in a minute. One minute later. And we have made it back successfully on a successful kava run. Let me show you all what we got going on up in here. Um, I got a chicken bowl with some white rice. We got some tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, smothered in some tzatziki and like some yogurt sauce. Uh, yeah, this is about to absolutely hit different. Uh, I forgot to mention there is some corn in there. Love me some corn. And this is about to just absolutely hit just otherworldly. Like I literally cannot wait to eat this. I'll show you guys a couple of close-up shots before I dig in. But yeah, kava is definitely one of the newer restaurants that I uh, picked up on this year and i think it's just a great place to go if you want like some cleaner but quick food because most food these days it might be fast but it, it's crap for you this is not the case they do a really good job making like good clean food for you to eat so highly recommend you go check out a cabin near you oh my goodness we open that up right there and just look at that like that just looks absolutely incredible you got a side pita that you can choose to get as well um and yeah of course you know you had to throw that in there but yeah um, I'm absolutely going to devour this. You're probably going to see me do it in like five seconds, but I'm going to take my time. I'm just enjoying this delicious kava Mediterranean bowl of goodness. And approximately 15 minutes later, there is nothing left of this kava bowl. Um, it has been absolutely destroyed. Now we have to do the other two. The second one that we are gonna go do right now is we're gonna head to a Target um, and pick up a volleyball. Um, and that volleyball is gonna end up being my date to this sunset that we're gonna try and catch later. Those are objectives two and three for today. Um, catch a sunset, buy a volleyball, and give it away to a random subscriber. Without further ado, let's head over to Target and get that volleyball. Okay, so I'm gonna try my absolute very best to get through this entire Target run with only buying the volleyball and a sharpie but i have a feeling knowing me and knowing what target does to people um i'm not going to be successful and i'm going to end up walking out of there with more than the two things that i had on my list originally hopefully that doesn't happen but if we're being honest it probably is so let's just head in there and wish me the best of luck with staying true to my list and not going off script but i don't have a lot of faith in myself yeah not a lot of faith Okay, so we found the sporting goods aisle. Um, we'll check this one first. Oh, looks like we don't need to do much more than that. We have our volleyballs or a selection of volleyballs. And as I suspected, they're not great. Like, what, what is this? 
you will never catch me playing volleyball with a volleyball that looks like that. Um, and we got that as a second alternative. And then we have, ooh, okay. You know what, hold up. I kinda like these mini volleyballs. Baden, never heard of that brand, but these things are a ton of fun. Like I absolutely love and adore these things. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any other options. We have purple and blue um, volleyball, Baden, again, never heard of it, or the Wilson, whatever the heck is going on with that. Option three, you get this mini volleyball that does have a giant Baden logo on it, um, but I think it's the coolest personally. So this is the one we're gonna pick up. Um, you are now mine. I mean, the only other option was this Baden. Um, but again, I don't like what's going on here. It's just a little too crazy for me. So instead, we're gonna go with the uh, light blue version. That is the other item we got on our list, um, a Sharpie. So we will pick up these two Sharpies. I think it's what, two, $2 for two Sharpies. That's a heck of a deal if you ask me. Um, with that, we have both of the items we came here for. And yeah, I haven't bought or grabbed anything else to buy. So I'm sticking true to my word of just getting these two necessities and getting out of here. So let's go check out. Um, never mind. I saw this ice cold drink kind of aisle that they have right here. And uh, these sparkling ice blackberries are just the best. So yeah, this one's coming with me. Okay, so we are back from the Target run. Um, mission was a success. We got everything we need right in this bag here. Let's do a little mini haul. I know you guys saw all the items um, because I showed you everything I bought, but regardless, let's do a haul because those are fun. First up, we have the volleyball for quest number two slash three today. We picked it up. It is a Baden volleyball. I've never heard of this brand in my life. I've never heard of them, um, but apparently they make volleyballs and they make the miniature ones, which these things are awesome. Absolutely dope. Number two. Sharpies. We got two of them. They were $2 for two Sharpies. You're quite literally not going to beat that. That's like almost a dollar a Sharpie. Um, just an absolutely phenomenal deal on that. And then we did fail at not walking out of Target without anything else. Um, I passed by the drinks aisle that was just so conveniently placed on my way out. And what do you have it? A ice cold sparkling ice, black raspberry flavored. Um, this was a dollar. A, a dollar that I won't regret spending, I don't think. So that's going to sit right there and i'm gonna drink that on on the way to our sunset destination which i cannot wait to take you guys to while we are sitting here though what we can do is mark up this volleyball real quick okay so let's get let's get to doing that i'm terrible with signatures it sucks like i'm just not good at it so i'm hoping that i nail this on my first try because if not then this volleyball is gonna look really stupid okay so let's take a blank side i'm thinking this panel right here is where we're gonna put it okay you know what? we're just gonna go for it oh yeah we're off to a, oh we're off to a great start look at me go look yes as i'm doing this i'm realizing that it's not even really a signature more of just me writing on it on a volleyball pme volleyballs volleyball from rest day youtube video yeah oh right, you know what i'm not gonna throw the date on there what we are gonna do is give it a little smiley face on another side so yeah let's go ahead and do that yeah throw one big old eye right there another one right there I, this is where i messed up i shouldn't have even tried this um um boom okay so the volleyball is done um, you know, what? I'm going to add my real signature on this side as well. By my real signature, I mean the PME volleyball signature. All right, this volleyball has officially been marked up. Let me give you guys a quick volleyball tour. Without further ado, this is the PME volleyballs volleyball from rest day YouTube video. And we gave it a nice little smiley face. Look how happy it is. Um, this is just a volleyball that's happy to be here. And then again, it says PME volleyball on it down there. Ignore the smudge. Um, that wasn't me. Somebody else smudged this volleyball. Um, once I catch them, I'm going to be really mad, but yeah, this is the game giveaway item for today's video. Once again, if you want a chance to win this volleyball, make sure you leave a like on this video. Comment down below the best reason why I should ship you this volleyball. And obviously you need to be subscribed to the channel. One week after this video goes live, I'm gonna choose whoever gave me the best reason for me to give them this volleyball. They're gonna get this volleyball. Boom. Second objective for today, post getting rejected from the LBC volleyball gym. Thanks again, LBC. I really appreciate that. Okay, we have one last objective on the agenda for today. We gotta go catch a sunset. It is currently 5.15 
7.55. I have on my handy dandy watch here, it tells me when the sun's gonna set. It sets at 7.28. The place I wanna go catch the sunset today is about an hour away. So we're gonna start driving there now and we will just be there like ready to catch it. It's almost gonna be perfect timing. Like I absolutely cannot wait um, to go watch the sunset. Um, yeah, damn the life of a volleyball player. Um, you're watching a 19 year old guy watch the sunset. Um, that's what you came to get and I hope you enjoy it. Let's be on our way. And as you can see, we have our new passenger with us, um, Baldin the volleyball. Oh, come on, let's uh, buckle you up because safety first. Um, yeah, yeah. He's all ready to go, um, so am I. So let's get going. Okay, we have arrived. I don't think I ever told you guys where I was going. Basically, what happened was I typed in my cellular device, best places near me to watch the sunset. This place came up called Pinnacle Overlook. It looks super promising, so I decided, yeah, that's the place I'm gonna go to try and watch the sunset today. So basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take Baden, our, our volleyball here, um, and we're gonna go try and catch this sun setting among us. It is currently 6.55. Um, we have about half an hour until the sunset. We're going to make sure we get a good spot, try and set up in a place that'll be visibly pleasing to watch the events. Um, not really events. Well, just watch the sunset. Let's go. Okay. So there is one fatal flaw that I actually made um, when I decided to do this. And it's the thought that in order to watch a sunset, you probably have to get some sort of uh, clear sky. And if you take a look, um, there's nothing but clouds in the sky. Regardless, um, I am coming up on the view that this place is about to show me right over there, and it is actually breathtaking. Like, I didn't even think that Pennsylvania was this beautiful. No offense to Pennsylvania, um, I just don't think you're that beautiful of a state, but this right here, guys, is going to change my mind because this is just absolutely incredible. Here, let me get a little closer, and then I'll show you guys the view that we got. Like, holy freaking smokes. Is this not just absolutely gorgeous? And if you look over there, that, that's probably where the sun would have been setting. Um, but you can't really see it because, again, there's a bunch of clouds in the sky. But my goodness, is this just absolutely the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in my life. Um, me personally, I don't regret coming out here, making the hour long drive to Pinnacle Overview. I think that's what I said the place was, but yeah, we have the volleyball. We got the whole squad. We got me and the volleyball here at this absolutely beautiful scenic look with really no sunset to be seen. But man, that view is just something else. I honestly, it feels, it, it kind of feels illegal to be talking um, at a place like this because it's just so peaceful and quiet here and I'm just rambling on about nonsense. So, wow, yeah. We're gonna at least stick around for probably another 20-ish minutes or so, see if we can get any sort of like sunset action, but I doubt it because again, there's a bunch of clouds in the sky, so. Okay, so a little bit in front of me here um, is a drop off and I don't want to get too close to the edge because I value my life and I'm actually pretty fearful of heights, I'm not going to lie to you. So even being like this close uh, has me a little nervous, I'm not going to lie, but oh my goodness, the view is worth it. Like this is just absolutely beautiful. Um, I came for a sunset and instead got this and I will say that I'm not disappointed at all. Like this is just absolutely beautiful, wow. I, I think that sometimes like in life, we have a lot going on and it tends to be a little crazy, but then you get to see things like this and it just helps you like mentally reset and realize that everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> like I, life, the, the, the crap, the adversity that life throws at me, whether it's just in my life or like on a volleyball court, like it's gonna be okay. Something about nature, man. Something about a view like this just does that for me. God created things like these for us to enjoy and for that I'm grateful. I don't know if I've said this yet in the video, but it is Easter weekend right now um, that I'm shooting this. And life has been moving, it's moving pretty fast lately. I'm um, just with volleyball, with the season going on, like we're getting to the end here. And I'm glad I took this time to come out here today and have this be a reminder that I need to slow down sometimes and just enjoy what's in front of me instead of worrying about what's in the future or what's in the past, things that I can't control. Been out here for about 20, 25 minutes now. I think it's time that we head back to the car and we head back to campus. This 
was insanely beautiful. I loved it. Holy smokes, was that place not absolutely beautiful. Wow, I, I mentioned it earlier. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I, I'm pretty afraid of heights. Like heights just like aren't my thing. Yeah, and there was like this cliff that we went and sat on and just talked and enjoyed the scenery for about like 10 minutes. I was just sitting there. That was really, that was, that was a step out of my comfort zone, guys. I'm not usually one to do things like that, but I did it and I felt like I conquered something today, which I know the original plan for this today, my rest day was to go get some reps in the gym, but I feel like I've just accomplished so much more just through this adventure that we've had. I, I think it's, time that we head back to campus there might be a stop we make on the way just for a little dessert i know we ate late lunch slash dinner earlier it was a huge kava bowl delicious but yeah i do have room for dessert i do have a little bit of a sweet tooth so i might have to satisfy that before we head back um and get back to my room that's the plan i am very pinnacle overlook peak whatever the heck this place is called man you did not disappoint but i know we came for a sunset and i know i promised you guys a sunset but the weather did not cooperate and in my opinion we got something so much better let's uh let's go get some dessert Dessert, yeah so as you can see here we've made our way to mcdonald's um the golden arches gonna uh, go ahead and open up my mcdonald's app here see if we can find something for dessert to wash down our kava bowl that we had earlier today don't have enough points to get any good desserts so what we're gonna have to do is spend some real money bummer but let's see let's take a quick look at the menu here we can get a shake a mcflurry a sundae some cookies pies or a cone automatically gonna rule out the pies the cone the cookies and the sundaes so we're down to a mcflurry or a shake i'm a pretty big shake guy like I, I like getting shakes i'm not gonna lie um i just think they're good so we're gonna go with a strawberry or a chocolate we're gonna go with a chocolate shake it's honestly never let me down curbside is closed what the heck curbside is closed so i'm gonna go ahead and put the order in for this and then we're gonna hit the drive through and when i speak my code in there um they'll have my shake ready for me that's gonna be dessert i'll tell you guys if i if i didn't play volleyball or if i didn't play as much volleyball as i do i don't think i'd be this skinny because the way i eat sometimes i'm just be eating crap all the time and it's okay because we just burn it off in volleyball calories okay i'm gonna go hit the drive through now i have my phone standing on my hoodie right now so the odds of that thing stays upright this entire time is very slim and just as i say that uh it yeah falls off my hoodie frick looks like we're just gonna have to hold the thing because it just doesn't seem to want to stand upright on my hoodie okay so i have a code i'm gonna speak to them through the pa system and apparently they're gonna give me a free shake if i speak this code just kidding i paid for it um through the mobile app so i can get my points and i'm pretty sure every single volleyball match i played this year i found myself eating some sort of dessert afterwards it's almost like a reward for playing if if i win um it's a victory reward and if i lose then it's a coping mechanism kind of what i found out here I all right, we're up. Hey, I have a drive through code, uh, HB47. For Christian? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Currently 8.08 p.m. It's been a pretty full day. Gotten quite a lot accomplished. If I woke up this morning and somebody were to tell me that you would spend your day chasing a sunset and buying a volleyball to give away to your viewers, I would have said that's really funny. And maybe the latter is true, but um, the first part sounds really dumb. I'm here and that's exactly what I did. I went and tried to watch a sunset instead, just had to settle for an amazing view. And I have a volleyball that I'm gonna give away to one of you guys. In my hand right here waiting for my chocolate shake which this line has not moved in like five minutes i'm starting to get a little concerned I'm not gonna lie to you it has been secured the chocolate shake uh, is in my possession now um, let me park real quick so yeah as i just said the chocolate shake um we just picked it up that took forever i'm not gonna lie to you but it's okay we got it now look at that thing look at it delicious um or it's gonna be delicious let me give it a quick taste real quick yeah no that's a solid like nine and a half out of ten right there i don't think there's a fast food place that does chocolate shakes better than mcdonald's um yeah i just don't think one exists i think mcdonald's chocolate shakes uh, are on top of the food chain in, in my opinion I, like, that's what i think I, I haven't had a chocolate shake at a fast food place that's been better than mcdonald's so let's head back to lbc we got about 16 more minutes to go on this drive and then we'll get back indoors so it's still raining out which kind of sucks so I'm, I'm ready to get back inside and get cozy in my room um, rather than be out in this weather mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we have officially made it back to my room. The time is currently 8.49 p.m. I think every athlete who has rest days should ask themselves at the end of their rest day if they feel rested. And if I had to ask myself if I feel rested on my rest day, the answer would be yes. This was a great day full of adventure, but uh, done in a way where I can relax rather than stress myself out, um, which life tends to do sometimes. Thank you guys for joining me along my adventure today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below the biggest reason I should give you this giveaway item which is this miniature volleyball and the comment that i like the most will be receiving uh the volleyball that we used in today's video also make sure to hit that subscribe button this coming week we have our last three um regular season matches and then after that uh, we have playoffs we have officially clinched playoffs for our conference and if we win these last two conference games that we have yeah we're gonna get the first seed so we're gonna get to have playoffs at home so a lot of exciting stuff. More volleyball day in the life vlogs to come. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.